baby. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I like saying let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Seriously, let's go. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I want to go check out the... Uh, the older side of the cemetery here. So it's a it's a little bit chilly outside today here. Uh, who's first? Cheryl Appleman and Derek Phipps. Uh, Connie Meeson, Mike Brown, not that one. SRT Motive, Coco Beauty 09. Carol Cruz, Stacey Harris, Paul Hudson, Shiloh Alsip. Fallen Angel, Destiny Vaughn, Crystal Wood, Tia Kaisen, Ray Freeman, Wendy Smith, Brian Harnes, Roseanne, Roseanne Reyes, of course, Gogo to the No No, uh, Sunny Stormy, Trish Ross, Wendy, uh, I already said hello to you, Patient Star, Deanne Sheramore, too, and the rest of you guys. What's going on? I don't, uh, haven't been live on this channel in quite some time. You know, I was actually mulling the idea of only going live on this channel not sure if i want to do that i'm mul i'm thinking about it i'm thinking about hanging it up going live on the one at large just just thinking about it i don't know i just don't have the time to really um, do it so uh the reason why i'm live right now is because well <laughs> so I, I came back up here because uh, uh i'm supposed to be uh supposed to be doing something tomorrow possibly uh, maybe buying something. So I came I came out of my way. I was actually technically right now. I am supposed to be in Oklahoma and uh, so I uh, took a little detour uh, So I gotta go uh, Go look at something for sale and then um, See if I want it or not and then uh, I'm gonna head back down to OKC for a day and then I'm going to be in Texas I should be back in Texas, uh, hopefully by Wednesday. So, and then I'll figure it out from there what the heck I'm gonna do. Anyways, uh, how how are we all doing, guys? So, I I drank last night a little bit, uh, only drinking one night a week for the rest of, at least for the three weeks, and then probably Christmas I might go a little bit ham. Uh, might go a little bit ham on Christmas, you know, New Year's, all that stuff. And then probably maybe I'll go dry for, I don't know, maybe I'll do three months no drinking or something like that. Who knows? I don't know. Anyways, enough about that. Uh, what are we talking about? We're at a graveyard. It's kind of what I do, right? Go to graveyard cemeteries. Um, uh, oh, and Merry Christmas, uh, Wendy Smith. Merry Christmas. We say Merry Christmas on this channel. It's okay to say Merry Christmas. And I understand that everybody is a Christian, but I say Merry Christmas, and you should too. Am I coming up to New England? Are you insane? Are you insane, Miss Susan Marie? No, it's too cold right now. I, I don't do the cold. So we have a we have a, a loose dog in the cemetery. That ain't no good. Whose dog is that? Okay, it's somebody's. Uh, anyways, it's a German Shepherd. German Shepherds, they could either be very nice or very aggressive. I'm not really sure. But anyways. Uh, no, way too cold. Way, way too cold. Listen, kid, it's 45 degrees where I'm at right now. I'm not going to lie. Like I was, I was coming here because I was going to do a video here. Um, I don't have the time, you know, because now that it gets dark earlier for me to do a cemetery video, I have to be there at, I have to be there at least by, you know, to, to get a, to get a decent video done, I'd have to be there at like 11 o'clock and give myself four or five hours to try to do as much as I can. You know, that's, that's, that's usually that sometimes that's how long it takes me to do like a faces and dead. It'll, it'll be like four or five hours. And if, if, if I go to a random cemetery, now, if I go already prepared, like I already kind of looked stories up, then uh, two hours. Because then um, I'm also going to like look for stuff while I'm there. So uh, this is, see, like right now, I don't have any gloves on, right? I don't have any gloves on. It's 45 degrees, though. The sun is going to be going down in about the next, uh, I want to say, 
hour or so and uh 45 degrees this is the temperature where i just i pretty much i'm about to leave an area because it's too cold for me to be in it's just too cold like i don't want to deal with it like there's no point in me dealing with cold i could just go down south where it's warm and then when it gets too hot down south i can come up north where it's not that hot even though sometimes it doesn't work that way because it'll be very hot up north as well uh all these graves here look very similar uh, these are uh oh these are babies this is the baby cemetery part right here all oh, these are these are like babies right here Uh, Hemi from Central Cali, what's up? I might be going that way in a few months. Maybe we'll see. I might fly out there. I don't know yet. Thinking about it. I got a video to do in, uh, I, I mean, yeah. I missed out on a lot of videos in Central California when I was over there. So. Um, I'll show you a grave here in a little bit. Um, I just, by dumb luck, I parked, you know, over there. And so I, I looked up a grave. That grave, will I'm going to include it in the Faces in Death when I come back here in the future. Uh, definitely going to do a... There's several stories in this cemetery. Um, if I... The main story that made me want to do a video in the cemetery, if I find a grave, I'll, I'll show you. I'll tell you what happened. Um, not really looking for it, but if we find it, I'll... I'll kind of explain in detail because this story, I was actually going to do its own blog. But, you know, I was thinking to myself, I said, you know, I'm starting to like, like get away from the faces in death. And I said, I need to come back and start doing more of those. And, you know, sometimes those videos, it needs a good story that, yeah, the story could be its own video, but sometimes it just needs good stories. I mean, sad stories, of course, but good stories to get people to keep watching or what have you. So, uh, and then I was thinking, should I just do a dark side of and include that story in there? But uh, I just decided just to put it in faces and death, so I'll be back here um, probably sometime, I don't know, April, May, when the weather starts getting warm again. But uh, for the meanwhile, I must depart and, uh, and go down where the weather is warm. Mississippi, anybody? Yeah. Uh... If we can find it, I'll show I'll show you the one the one uh, couple over here. Well, not the couple, but uh, I'll show you them. I, I I was also, you know, this is like the older part of the cemetery. Um, not the older part. I mean, it's, it's not all older graves, but uh, you know, I don't. Uh, you know what I was thinking? You know what I want to start doing more? I just I got to give myself more time. Is uh, I want to just start reading like people's obituaries. Because sometimes, you know, you know, it's just an obituary. Just, you know, this guy was a farmer and he had a wife and three kids and he worked at, uh, he worked a farm growing sweet potato and all that good stuff, you know. You know, not everybody has this horrible, horrible story that led to their demise. So. Something like that. Alan Stockstill, March 10, 1856 to October 23rd, 1928, and his wife, she was born October 5th, 1861, died August 13th, 1927. He died a year after his wife, and uh, yeah, all right, and then I don't know anything about Alan Stockstill, but I would, you know, look, look him up, of course, and then go from there. go from there and I'm just uh, looking to see if any stone out here catches my attention I always like when it has like I don't know what's, what's up with this yellow what is what is, somebody have a paintball competition out here what is this about huh Okay, I don't have my other phones on me because they're both uh, needed to be charged, but don't know what happened here. <sighs> uh, 
Okay, come on. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah, this thing needs this thing needs to be We need a repair job over here. Right. Anyways. From Tucumcay, Minnesota. No, uh, Tucumcay. That's a, that's a city in New Mexico, ain't it? Uh, somebody said they're from Oklahoma. Patricia from Oakley. You go, are you Oki from Muskogee? Uh, I got a lot of uh, stories in Oklahoma, a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll be in Oklahoma uh, for the last uh, two weeks of the year. So I'll be hanging out there after I, I'll probably stick around in Dallas for about a week. And then uh, I'm gonna go up to Oklahoma. So I'll be around the Tulsa uh, perimeter area for two weeks and then uh, after like the first week of January I'm gonna head down south uh, probably uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing I'm gonna chill out in Louisiana for about a month or two like Louisiana Mississippi border areas right there and uh, just got to start doing more uh, more cemetery videos you know keep up the true crime too but I you know I, I felt like I've been abandoning the cemetery um, content uh, too too for too long now, you know. Uh, I'm not sure if it's cold in Texas. Um, it does get cold. It does get, cold, but mm, you know, it's not. It happens, but not really. And if you, in in particular in the South, um, in, in the South you're fine. Like San Antonio, rarely gets cold, but it, it can definitely. If, you, if we get like you know that cold wear cold weather that cold wind coming down from up the uh from the arctic and it just kind of and you know blankets the, the south yeah it gets cold probably like i want to say it gets cold in texas <sighs> like I, i'm guessing like five like four days out of the year five days where it'll get below 30 but that's pretty rare oh is that an invite okay we got an invite from wendy in austin all right well if if, if your drive through uh, drive in, drive through, drive uh, driveway is open, guys. I need a I need a driveway. Does anybody have a driveway? You know what I really need? I need a driveway in New York. Does anybody have a driveway for me in New York? That's that's what I need. That's that's what I need. I need that driveway in Queens. That's what I need. So. Uh, yogurt thief checking in what's up uh, someone said I I'm okay I had to say goodbye today crystal wood what happened you didn't say goodbye to who I've been looking for your channel is this your only one <laughs> wouldn't you want to know uh no I, I got I got a uh, I got a couple of them some of not some of them not you know but uh yeah, this isn't my main one. This this is just uh, uh, what you would call a, a a side channel, if you will. Let's check out this grave right here. This looks kind of cool. See, this would be a grave that I would use for a thumbnail for for a video. See, and that's I hate to say it, man, but it's true. Your, your thumbnails are important. See, like this one right here, I would just kind of like see, but it's kind of reflected, so I'd have to have uh, Scarlet fix it up. See, actually for this live, I'm probably just gonna use this as a thumbnail. So that'll be it. But then it, my my reflection is is uh is in it. So let's let's go around and uh see Shane Allen Cook. He died young. He was only 20. I don't know what happened to him, I don't have my phone, I can't Google anything or look up anything on their uh, other search search engines. Twenty years old, FFA, future farmers, 
of a uh, it's future farmers of America, and I'm assuming he played football. Those are his parents right there. So I'm assuming this goes. Where does where does this go? Does it go here? I don't want to. I don't know if it goes there or not, but I, I didn't. I wanted it off the ground. Yeah, we'll just hold it right there. Uh, I wish I had my other phone on me. I could just take the picture, but I'll just have to screenshot it. Um, that would be a, a good uh, thumbnail too, something like that. Colors, colors against uh, gray. Yeah, it takes a long time to like look up information on, on like how like people died or whatever. And I know that you know the stories are more you know they're more uh, interesting when it's like a horrible, horrible way. And then sometimes it doesn't have to be a horrible way. Sometimes I like to I like to find the graves of people who are just nice people, and they, you know they, they just kind of did something that contributed partly to humanity in some form or fashion. You know, I, I like to mix those up every now and then. But people, they don't, they don't, they don't like good stories. They like bad stories. But uh, not everything has to be bad, you know. Not everything has to be bad. Got forty-one in Kentucky. Hey guys, uh, give out your guys's location and the temperature. I, I want to see where, like, what the temperature is and where you're at. And if, if you're not in the country. Uh, give, give your temperature in Fahrenheit. I do not accept Celsius. This is, uh, I'm sorry guys. This, this is a, this is a, a channel based in the United States. So you're just going to have to convert it for us because, because we're Americans. We're very lazy. We don't feel like figuring out what the temperature is. So if you're in Australia, Nikki, I know it's summer over there. We want to know, we want to know the temperature. This would also be a good thumbnail right here. Something like that. Yeah. That would be all right. And sometimes when I see very, very exquisite or beautiful graves in certain cemeteries, uh, I'll keep them in for future videos. And then, um, cause I'll just go and cause I'll just go want to see it, you know, for my own eyes. So this guy died young. Ronald Bernie. So, uh, Tina Marie Drake, I didn't see that when I was over there. See, I've always been uh, mystified about like what happens to like young people, like this girl right here, like this, like I'm definitely, it, it's just, it's so strange to me. It's like, when I see this, and look at her, you know, she was like cute, young, um, you know, just vivacious in the picture, you know, cheerleader. What happened? You know what I mean? What happened to her? She, she, she died before I was born. So she's been dead for 45 years or so. It's just crazy. It's, that's what's always got me when I went to cemeteries, even when I never did videos, you know, I'm just like. It's the, it's all it's those kinds of stones that always you know with the pictures on them you know what I mean. I've always been cu curious as to uh, people like when they put the pictures on the on the markers, and then uh, especially when they're young, you know, and like they died very very young or whatever. So uh, Kayla's in the building, popping her head in. Uh, homeless in America it gets dark at 4:30. Yeah, you're in Washington. That place. Ugh. Uh, I don't know. I, I I might actually be going to Washington. I'm gonna go visit my brother. I might go. I might be going. Uh, I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure yet. Uh, hell, I might even go next month. I I have no idea. I actually bought a a plane ticket going to California, and then I changed my mind. So I have a credit. So I'd like to I'd like to go to Washington to go visit my brother. Um, 
And then there's, honestly, to tell you the truth, there's really only one story I want to do in, in Seattle. I mean, everything else is whatever, you know what I mean? But there's only one video in all of Washington. There's two, actually. But there's really only one that I am uh, particularly interested in doing, uh, which basically would take place in the epicenter right in the middle of Seattle. Actually, you know what? I take that back. There's two videos, but technically they're both the same subject. Um, one of them, you know, I don't want to say what it is because then, you know, then I, I might end up not doing it. But um, and I have to also be cognizant of the fact that when I come back out here because I hate when I, my shadow gets in the way so I, when I come back here I'd have to start early because the sun sets over there so I'd have to start early over here anyways the sun's getting low kids getting low it's getting low Okay, Nicole's inviting me to Australia. She says she's got me covered over there. I, I might. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I, I wish the plane ride wasn't as ridiculously long as it is. What is it, 20 hours or something? Yeah, no, Australia definitely, you know, whether I decide to go, you know, to the United Kingdom first or somewhere or wherever or South Africa, uh, wherever I go, I, I am going. I'm going to be gone for a while, I, I this ain't no two week trip I'm taking. So wherever and whenever I decide to go, I gotta prepare myself. I gotta edit all my videos, make sure I have nothing to do. So yeah, so that, that so when that happens, um, I just gotta, uh, I just gotta kinda get busy, you know? Uh, the, I, I think the part, why is this lady like checking me out for? She wants to know what I'm holding in my hand. And yes, guys, I'm talking about my gimbal, my phone. Um, so the, the the grave that I would be looking for is is in the flat part of the cemetery. So um, I'm thinking they might actually be here. They're probably wondering, like, what is that guy doing? What is that guy doing? Should I call the police? Okay, yeah, they're definitely going to be right here. So let's let's. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the bottom and then come back up. Hopefully we'll find them before it gets too dark. We will see. Um yeah, I wish I had gloves right now. It's I wish I had a glove on it. It's getting as soon as that sun drops, boy, I'm out of here. I am out of here. Okay, so I guess I guess I'm just gonna walk to the end and then kind of come back up and just kind of go back and forth or whatever. <laughs> Let's all visit Nicole in Australia, and we should just charter a plane. Uh, I, I got a great idea. How about we do this? Check this out. This is a great idea. This is this is because I'm full of them. I'm full of great ideas. How about we all pool our money together and then we'll rent or charter, if you will. That's what the rich people call it. They call it chata. We'll chata a, a one of those value jets and it will all like hop in, right? So we'll, we'll charter like a jet that holds only like 30 people. But you know, who cares about weight? We can get more people than that. We'll do like the college phone booth like we'll just cram everybody in that plane. We'll cram as many people as we can into the plane, and then we'll all go to Australia, and uh, we'll all visit the coal. And then, we'll, and then when we get to her home, we'll all tell her, "Hey, put another shrimp on the barbie." Eh? That's what they say down there, right? Hey, Nicole, put another shrimp on the barbie, eh? 
Hey, if I if I ever go to another country and I meet a subscriber, I, the first thing I'm going to tell them when they start speaking to me is I'm going to tell them, can you just talk normal? Can you just talk normal for once? I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, I got my sleeve covering my hand holding my gimbal and then my other hand is uh, in my pocket because it's it is like I'm in the shade now. See, this is why I don't stick around in places where it's 45 degrees. And it sucks because tomorrow it's going to be 56 degrees, which is totally fine to do a video. Uh, now, I could wake up early. I could wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, come out here, get the video done, and then, but I can't. I, I just don't have the time. I just don't have the time. But, uh... I mean, you know, if, and when I say wake up in the morning, I mean, like, set my alarm, 7.45, get up, get out of bed. Sometimes I do that. Not all the time. Sometimes I just like to sleep in. But sometimes I'll just set it, get up, and just get going. I actually need to do that more often. Let's see if we can find who I'm looking for. They're either here or over there, but they're definitely in the flat part of the... <sighs> I'm looking, I'm looking. They demonetize me? No, no. I just I don't have the super chat on. Uh, I don't I don't like turning it on all the time because it just I feel weird about it. Okay, let's 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 look the proper way. Let's just go. You know, I'm thinking that they're gonna have. You know, sometimes when I start looking for graves, I, I want to guess that, like, they would definitely have decorations on their grave, you know what I mean? But well, let's just go back and forth, because I might actually see something that I want to uh, look at in the future or something. Something like that. Uh, thank you, Miss Marie. I appreciate that. Yeah, there will be more to come for sure. I, 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 I have two Faces and Death videos ready to go, but of course, you know, I'm not going to put them out together. But, uh, yeah, no, I got two... Uh, technically, I, I got two. I, I kind of sort of did a third one, but it's not really faces and death because I didn't have a lot of time. It was more about a particular uh, grave uh, in Arkansas, but then I went down the road to the cemetery and then I just I filmed a couple graves in there. So it's not a faces and death, but you know. And I'm going to start doing that in future videos where if I do a video about a particular grave, I might show some other graves, just, I don't know, whatever. Make the video a little longer, because YouTube likes when you uh, make longer videos, because then they'll suggest it more than uh, if you just do a five-minute video, which I can't stand, because sometimes I just want to do a five-minute video, and that's it. That's all That's all it takes. But then for those videos, if it's a five-minute video, I got to add long, a longer, you know, just, I don't know, whatever. I might do that on occasion. I'm not trying to do that all the time, though, but... Just, just on occasion. Uh, yes. Uh, Henry Dixon, thank you very much, brother. Appreciate you. Uh, thank you. It, it is kind of a show in a way, sort of. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, more, more to come for sure, as long as the Lord allows me to breathe. Or other people who I have road rage against allow me to breathe. And... Um, you know, and I've been thinking, you know, because like, you know how um, celebrity graves, how they get like a lot of views. You know, I've been thinking like, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll still do the celebrity graves. But there's going to be there's going to be points in time where I'm just going to want to put them together in the faces and death video. Because like, I don't know, just sometimes sometimes the celebrity graves kind of kind of bother me. Because I'm just like, I know that's how you get views and stuff like that. And I'm going to continue to do them. But sometimes like if there's a certain celebrity that I'm like, yeah, I could do a video about them. That's they're just, you know, I'd just rather put them together and, uh, and, and that, you know what I mean? So maybe this channel will have to change the direction slightly 
because this channel, like, I was just going to say, like, oh, I'll just do celebrity graves on here. But, I, you know, this channel, I'd rather just do any grave I feel like doing. Like, if I feel like doing a story about somebody that was murdered, then that's going to be it. And I know the name is kind of weird, Fascinating Graveyard, but I don't want to change the name. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. It's just a mixed bag on here. Just a mixed bag, kid. Just a mixed bag. Huh. Asheville, North Carolina, great cemetery. Yeah, of course, of course, I gotta go to Asheville. I know, I know for a fact I got a, a story in the uh, the old uh, folder over there. Okay, see these people are like creeping up on me. What is going on? What are, they, what are they looking at? What are they looking at? Oh, she looked at me hard. Wow, what is, what is up with that? She gave me a, did you see that hard look she gave me? What, she, she thinks I have evil intentions? here or something what's going on uh, anyways um miriam lopez from what mexico what's up miriam from mexico how we doing i'm glad you're tuning in will i ever go down to mexico probably not it's too dangerous for me too dangerous i'd love i would love to do a video on the cartel graves over there but it's just i don't know i don't just if, if I can't take a gun with me down there, I'm, I don't want to bother. You know what I mean? They don't like Z gun. They only like the guns when they... What is what, what is with this lady, y'all? What is with this lady? I don't get it. Like, what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna follow her. I don't, I don't understand. Why is she following me? I don't get it. I hope she calls the police because I could really use the money on that <laughs> that the video would make. Yeah, why not? Call the cops on me. I'll make uh, I'll make fifty bucks. Why not? Hey, do you guys think I should have just ran after her car like like a bear when they charge you in the woods? Like, yeah, just you know, run after her or whatever. Should I start chasing her car right now? And just start screaming. Yeah, I could start. Uh, I could start a new channel where I just get people to call the police on me. That would be exciting. Can you imagine that if I did that? Oh, geez, Louise. Just not even, not even trying to do like the First Amendment crap nonsense videos, like those stupid videos. I can't stand them. Those people that do those videos, I, I hate all of them. But just, just make people call the police on me for no apparent reason at all, whatsoever. Just because I'm bored. Cold and bitter in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, Chicago. Uh, I got a subscriber from up there who's like, dude, you should come over here and, and, and live for like six months and just start vlogging all the gang stuff. He said your channel would blow up. And I said, yeah, so would my head. When when they when they see me in the street and they start opening fire on me, but uh, just to let anybody know, uh, he he is telling the truth. If anybody lives in Chicago, if you just started a channel where you just vlog all of the gang shootings, yeah yeah you, you would that would be a nice little uh, nice little income. Uh, maker for you you know it was just the, the the thing is it's like you know when people do youtube when they start a youtube channel uh they just the the, the main thing that they fail at is not being consistent you got to be consistent if you're not consistent then don't waste your time you don't know how many channels that i just kind of run into where people did like six seven videos and they got like fifty thousand views and then they just stopped and I'm like, why, why would you, like, that was your clue to keep going. That's so wild. I don't get it. People, people don't realize that. Like, you can, you can do well. It's like, that, they're telling you they liked your videos. You know, I didn't have it like that. My channel never started like that. It's always been a slow grind. You know, especially right now. Like, it, like the channel's growing very slow right now. But, you know, it doesn't really bother me. If I wanted to make more of a more of an attempt to um to get it going i guess i could i just right now it's not like it's not like super important but i do think about it of course 
I do think about it, you know, starting to get the channel going. And, uh, but it's going to take some time. You know, it's not like I can just sit on my laurels. Is that what you guys call it over in England? Your lorries? Your laurels? Sit on my tuchus. It's not like I can sit on my tuchus. There she goes again. There, there she goes again. There they go again, looking at me. Just looking at me. I don't get it. Just looking at me again. I don't understand. Oh, and then they look at me, looking at them, and then they turn the other way. Interesting. And then they're looking at me in the back of their window. Is he still looking at us? Weird. Anyways. Oh, boy. Did my, did my gimbal die? Oh, yep. It died. Sorry, guys. Got to hold the phone now. My gimbal's dead. So, all right, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a rocky rest of the uh, stream. But uh, I hate holding the phone now. I feel like I, I want to go get my other gimbal, but I don't know if I. Yeah, let me go get my other gimbal real quick because this one's completely dead. Because I can't hold it like this, because then that means I can't hold my. Um, I can't put my, my hand inside my sleeve and my hand is freezing right now. Oh. It looks like they're leaving the cemetery. Oh cool, there's a bird feeder right there. I can go fill it before I leave. See, like, like you know this, you know the videos like where people like don't have a gimbal and they're just kind of like moving like this. Those are good for videos where it's like you want it to, you want it to present like a, like an action. Like there's like, ooh, there's a ghost. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. So I've been thinking about starting to like, start like using just like regular um, uh, phone holders, whatever you call those things. And then I would just say like, so anyways. And then she came out of the bushes, and then he got an axe and smashed it against her, you know, something like that. Maybe like a, maybe that kind of style of video would be good for like abandoned exploration videos or something like that. You know, the reason why the gimbal died was because uh, it's so cold, it drains, like when it's cold, your batteries drain faster in your devices than, uh, yeah, see, it's like, a, it's like the Blair Witch Project, right? Should I start doing those kind of cringy videos? I, I mean, I am playing. I ain't going to lie to you guys. It's in the plan. It's just right now, I'm like, I'm so behind on things. I just can't, I can't start doing videos really right now until I get things situated. But, uh, like, if I was at a cemetery at night, like, I'm like, okay, guys. Woo! You know, something like that. I don't know. Something like that. All right, so uh, when I get my gimbal, I'll show you the grave that I parked next to real quick. Sorry, guys, I'm going to have to put the phone down real quick. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I just got to grab my... Bear with me. It's somewhere in here. Oh boy, where is it? I have three gimbals and I can't find none of them. See, this is why I gotta get to my storage because like, I need to clean my, uh, 
my van out. I need to take everything out and repack or, and organize everything and put it all back again. So, oh, there it is. I hope this one ain't dead too. All right, so let me, so let me change this one. And put this over here. Okay, so bear with me, guys. Uh, sorry, guys, this is totally unprofessional. This is very okay. We're back. All right, sorry about that. Let me put this on my seat, and then okay. So we're back. All right, so check this out. I parked by this grave right here, and I just, you know, I, I wasn't even going to look up, but um, I just did. So uh, so this right here, so this is a Theodore Andrew Jackson Ott, right? November 30th, 1916 to June 8th, 1948. So this guy was 32 years old. And uh, he's buried next to, these are his parents. This is Stella and uh, Aloysius Ott, right? So th there's more to the story. So if I was, if I was going to do this, if I was going to do a Faces in Death, which I will, and I'll come back, for this story, um, I would, you know, I got a tripod. I don't know if it's, some stories, if they're kind of longer, I'll just like kind of walk and talk, you know how I roll. So for this one, so basically just to, Capsulize, capsulize the story. So Aloysius was a barber for a living. He had a little barber shop. I don't know what happened, but in the last months of this guy's life right here, Aloysius, he started getting really depressed. He actually got uh, a, a, a ticket for public drunkenness. So things weren't going very well in his life. And on June 8th, uh, 1948, uh, Aloysius grabs a shotgun and uh, kills his son right here for an unknown reason. Um, I think the article said that the son, see, I don't want to give false information. So I, I would have to like, this is when you need to take your time and read the story. But somebody was unemployed in the situation. I think the son was unemployed. And I don't know if he got into an argument with his son about that, but, and then he just, he shoots and kills his son. And then he shoots and kills his wife. And then he kills himself. So they're all buried together right here. And just by dumb luck, I happen to just park right by them. So, yeah, I don't know what possesses a man to do that. But. All right, there's that story. All right, let's let's uh, let's move along over here. I think I'll give myself about another 15 minutes before I, before I flee to fly the coop, if you will. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's buried them together, I guess. Some unknown reason. Whew, it is cold. Got to put my hands back in my, my my pocket. My pocket. Got to put it on my pocket. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's cold. It's getting cold here, guys. It's getting cold. Go visit a mortuary? What would I do there? Do you have one for me to visit? Do you know of one that's abandoned? Uh, do you know one that something bad happened to, like they got closed down because whatever? I mean, what mortuary? Am I breaking into one? You know, it's easy to just go do a video, but there's got to be a reason behind it. Like, what? What's? Why are people going to want to watch me go to a mortuary unless I've been invited? And I have yet to be invited to a mortuary, uh, I don't get many invites on my channel. I don't get many people inviting me. It's probably because I'm a little bit, uh, you know, I come across as a little bit, uh, you know, what's the word? Not an a-hole, but uh, what's the word? Lonerish, maybe? Um... <laughs> You know, uh, um, uh, you know, listen, it, 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 if this channel had like 5 million subscribers, I'm pretty sure I could get paid by certain people to like, yeah, to do something like that. I don't think I would ever do that. It's just, you know, that's not my content. My content 
it's just weird if I'm like doing a sad story about a family, you know, back there that, you know, the, the dad killed his son and his wife. And then I'm like, oh, by the way, if you're if your loved ones, uh, blah, 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 come bring them, you know, to bring them to Jackson's funeral parlor. You know, it just sounds kind of weird to me. You know, bring them to Charles Crematorium kind of weird yeah i don't know if i would want to do that but i do want to i do want to tie my shoelace or at least tuck him in okay so uh let's get back to i don't think i'm going to find this grave before it gets too dark a neighbor friend of yours has cancer and only has two left two months left to live Jeez, louise i can't imagine let me tell you um that is a very, very difficult thing to go through. And, uh, man, I, I have met a lady on my channel that, uh, you know, she would, uh, she would like pop in, you know, and say, hi, you know, some of you guys might remember her like Tammy Prince lover, you know, cause she really loves Prince and boy, you, you better not say anything negative around Prince, uh, about Prince around her. Cause she's going to let you have it. And uh, she got uh, breast cancer, and it was uh, uh, very aggressive, and she ended up passing away. And I, I did meet with her about, I want to say, I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure how many months before she died. And um, the cancer was really, really bad. And, you know, um, she, like, I think she died less than a year after she found that she had it. And she never even... Like, uh, it was very, very sad. I don't even like to talk about it. It's, it's, it's very, very sad. Uh, I seen her the one time, and I, I said, I'll come back and see you soon. And I never did. And, um, you know, I would text her, you know, say, hey, how's everything going? And then one day I text her. She didn't text me back for a day or two, but that wasn't an alarming thing. And then I, she didn't text me the second day, so I, I called her, and she didn't pick up the phone. And I called her several times and I said, hey, I said, just, man, give me a holler. Let me know you're okay. She never called me back. And um, that's it. I can't find, I can't find if, uh, an obituary. So I'm, I'm assuming she's dead because she wouldn't, like, she wouldn't, like, ignore my calls. So very, very tough, very, very scary thing. And I wish that on nobody, uh, on my worst enemy, excuse me. Definitely do not wish that on, on it, nobody. And I've often thought if that were to ever happen to me, you know, I probably wouldn't want nobody to call me, nobody to talk to me. I would I would probably just, I would probably just uh, stay, rent an apartment, stay there, just wait for the end. That's it. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want anybody trying to cheer me up or any, anything like that, you know. I would just say, like, you know, whatever. Did I hear about Mama June's daughter passing away from cancer today? Mama June. I know that name. Isn't that the lady from the Honey Boo Boo? If, if not, I don't, I don't know who that would be. Looks like we got uh, siblings that all died together. We all have the same death day, 1973. Deborah, Marianne Williams, and Mark Williams. I don't see if there's... Okay, no, these are... Oh, so they all died. So this, this entire family died. Wow, so six people dead all together. 1973, Norman. Wow, I don't know what happened. Car accident. Six people all dead right here. Yeah, all of 1973. So he would have been about seven. The mother was 40. Uh, the dad was 49 or so. No, he was 40, excuse me, 46. And she was 40. He was seven. And then 13 or 14, nine or 10, and uh, 11 or 12.
Yeah, this is kind of what I do. Like, you know, if I was doing the video, I would just kind of, as I'm walking around, I just start looking things up. And then I would also try to have a couple stories that I already know about to do those around that. But sometimes I just randomly will come to a cemetery. A lot of times it's just, it's just me wanting to do random things. So I'm going to start going back over here. Oh, well, thank you, Kiana. I'm not the best. Uh, no, there's way people better than me. But I want to be the best. I want to do more, add more to the repertoire. I feel that, um, you know, I think with the cemetery videos, I was feeling like I was being lazy about doing stuff because, like, to me, it's like the more locations, to me, the more involved the story can be. But, all, you know, oftentimes that's not necessarily the case. What, what oftentimes is the case is how you are as a... Storyteller, t storyteller and how engaging you can be and um you know so i don't know just hopefully hopefully it is my goal for january to just try to try to get more um just kind of like not travel too much in january like just kind of keep a tight radius and then from there just um uh just kind of start getting my videos all together in order that way, um, you know, I can I can kind of get ahead of myself. Um, you know, I can go back to uploading four a week, which is my goal. Oh my God, Lamont! I remember when living in your car, begging for money to survive. You have come such a long ways. Proud of you. Well, thank you, CC Channel. Uh, I, but I must correct you. Uh, number one, I still live in my car, and number two, I have never begged for money. So I don't know if you're trolling me or what, but uh, the one thing I do not do is I do not beg for money. If I were begging for money, my super chat would be on right now. So, but, uh, but thank you for uh, thank you for the uh, comment, the comment. I appreciate that. Yes. Huh. I don't see what I'm looking for yet. <clears throat> Akron is 37 degrees. Yikes. Yeah. Trust and believe if I could put up with the cold, um, I, I, I'd like Ohio. Um, I'm actually... You know, it's like, I'm cool right there. I'm comfortable in Ohio. Any part of Ohio, I'm good. Uh, I prefer, uh, you know, I prefer, I'd like to stay in, in Columbus because that, that's the middle. But, uh, you know, as long as I'm there, like I'm, I'm between Cincinnati and, uh, and uh, Cleveland. And then also you can kind of go towards, uh, you know, West Virginia and all that. All that stuff. Yes. Anyways. Arizona 70, that's what I'm talking about. Fort Wayne 35, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. Boston, Mass, 61. Wichita, 45. Chicago, 29. Yikes. Yikes. Salisaw, Oklahoma. 40 degrees, Springfield, 44. Oh, here's Springfield, okay. Yeah, yeah it is 44. Is that 44 here now? Uh, let's see. Uh, Sebring, Florida, 84. That's nice. That is nice. 28, Cleveland, Burr. 40, West Virginia. 33, Chicago. Should I read that like a weatherman? Uh, Greeley, Colorado. Sunny at 45. Kansas at 46. Florida, 70 degrees. 76 with light rain and 70 in Glendale, Arizona. Back to you, Stu. Back to you, Stuart. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, today was a high of 71 degrees with a low of 43 with a chance of meteor showers in the evening. 
We've got southwest winds coming at 12 miles an hour. Uh. <laughs> and then I have to, I'd have to make up a fake, um, a fake weather, weatherman name. Uh, what would my fake weather, weatherman name be? Um, uh, let's see. I got to think of a good one. How about, uh, Uh, how about, uh, well, I, I know that Michael Mexico, that's my fake name for being a sports caster. I'm Michael Mexico. Uh, so my name, if I were a weatherman would be, uh, how about, um, how about Hail Storman? Hail Storman with weather and Michael Mexico with sports. KTLA Action News. Something like that. Sweden, 37. Thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, telling us, us Americans, us low IQ Americans, because uh, we don't know how to, uh, we don't know how to calculate uh, Celsius into Fahrenheit. So we just need to be, we need our hands to be held and uh, shown the way how to do it. So thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, from Sweden. Oh. That's right. Your brother was unalived at 22 and your sister at 44. Unalived, you mean killed? That's the new, uh, that's the new term to say suicide on YouTube when you, uh, you know, because if you say suicide, then um, your, your video is like 95% chance it's gonna get demonetized. It's like 95%. So you got to say, so I, t I say took your own life instead of suicide, which I find it weird because it's like, they don't want you to say, say suicide, but then they want you to, uh, to call a hotline. So don't talk about it. But if you, if, but if you need to talk about it, call this number. Well, if we can't talk about it on YouTube, then why are we going to call some stranger and talk about it? Like that's, that's kind of stupid. So. I don't know. I, I haven't ever used that term in a video unalived himself because I, I don't know if it's considered um, inappropriate or, or um, just, uh, what's the word? If it's just considered like a little bit, um, uh, what, faux pas or something? I don't know. I don't know what word I'm looking for. Something like that. Ugh, okay, I, I have not found the... Uh, the graves that I'm looking for quite yet. It says uh, Dr. G J. Dean Camp, educator. And Jerry Camp, Vietnam, Purple Heart. Oh boy, that sun is gone, kids. It's getting cold here. It's getting cold and it's busy. Austin, Texas is 63, 64, and the sun is out. Be beautiful day. We got a beautiful day for you down in Austin. Uh, I have a video to do down in Austin. Um, actually, I've been, I've been done supposed to be doing that video a long time ago. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it down to Austin uh, this time or not. But um, because I, I guess I'm not really sure what's going to happen until like the first week of January on, on what I decide to do in terms of really just anything, anything and everything. Um, so we are still looking for the uh, grave that I'm looking for. Still looking. So, yeah. Very, very cold. Um, and I know you guys are, I know I'm behind on the comments. I know, I know, I'm always behind on the comments. I'm always behind on the comments. Bonsai Buddy! He's here to say something witty and, and funny and intelligent. Oh, Bonsai Buddy. 
the the uh, one of the wittier commenters on my channel, Mary Bonsai Buddy. Uh, can you do a Yoshinoya food review? Their beef bowl is delicious. Boy, are you telling me? I ate Yoshinoya damn near every single night for dinner when I was in Los Angeles. Every night. I don't think I can get tired of it. If you guys don't know, Yoshinoya is a, um, there's like, like a million of them in Southern California, but there's, I don't know why. There was one in Las Vegas and then it closed down. So it's just a Southern California thing. But it's just a fast food, like, beef bowl place. It's just, like, rice, beef, chicken. I think they got shrimp and stuff like that. It's really, really good. Really, really good. I, man, that is the one thing I do miss about being in L.A. is just going there. It's, like, their food is really good. I love that place. That place, if you consider it a fast food place, because it technically is fast food. Um, it's, there's just, you know, because there's a bunch of locations. You, 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 it's hard to be in Los Angeles and not see one. But, um... Uh, the problem is, like, they don't, I don't know why they're, I guess they just don't do good outside of Southern California. And they, I guess, I don't know. I don't know why they wouldn't want to expand. Like, they should try going into Texas. But I don't know. Whatever. So, yeah, I miss that place. Yeah, I will be doing a review, even though I already know that it's, it's really, really good. I would say um, if Yoshinoya was nationwide, I would say it's my favorite fast food place. Yeah, for sure. I love Yoshinoya. I mean, I'm too fat right now to be doing food reviews all the time. So I just, you know, try to only do them like twice a week at the most. So I'll just like do, you know, like if I have a cheat day on Saturday, I'll just kind of like whatever. But if I can get my weight under control, I would, I will definitely, you know, that channel, I would definitely upload more on there. But it's just, uh, it's just me being too fat. That's all. But, uh, I haven't been really losing weight at all. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe I think it's my diet. I think I'm not doing it correctly. So um, uh, I think my goal, I think I need to, I think my goal, like I would love, I would love to lose 30 pounds. That would be great. Actually, I want to lose 45, but um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I just, uh, I think for the rest of the year, I'm just going to pretty much kind of cruise or, you know, I'm not going to go really crazy, to, you know, because I'm so out of shape, but I'm, I'm still trying to get myself back into shape, particularly one that's not a ball shape. So blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen the grave yet, so I don't know if we're going to find it. And um, We're almost there. We're almost there. You want me to come to Riverside and visit you, bro? Uh, in Riverside? I don't really got anything in Riverside doing. The only the only thing I would the only reason I would be going to Riverside is I might redo the um the uh what's that crazy broad that killed uh well I keep forgetting her name. She killed the Travis guy. The the crazy broad with the blonde hair. I might redo that video. But um yeah, I, why do I keep forgetting her name? She was absolutely crazy. Man. What was her name? Can somebody please tell, tell me what her name is? Does anybody know her name? Can anybody tell me her name? Anybody? Can anybody tell me her name? Oh, Jody Arias, thank you. All right, bye, Nicole. I'll see you later. Later. Um... Yeah, Jody Arias. I might, I might redo that video. I mean, I, I showed the house where he got killed. Travis Alexander is his name. Uh, yeah, I, I am going to redo that video. I don't know when I'm going to be going to. I already got the grave filmed, but that, that was a long time ago. So I don't know if I would go back to redo it again. And besides, if I'm going to go to Arizona, then uh, if I'm in Arizona, then that probably means I'm just going to drive five miles and 
excuse me, five hours and head to Southern California. So, yeah, Jody Arias nutcase. Boy, was she crazy. <sighs> crazy. There's actually, you know what? There's a uh, there's this crazy broad in uh, Florida. And yes, I know I do talk like I am a 1940s gangster. So this crazy broad in uh, Florida, I did that video. It'll, I'll put it up on my channel in about a couple weeks. So this crazy broad in Florida, she was she was living in um, I forgot what city, D Daytona Beach, I think. So she she's just crazy, right? So this is the perfect example of me simply only doing a video because of the killer and how they look, right? So sometimes a story is not particularly more interesting than another story, except they'll have a crazy look to them. And this woman. So we will come back. I'll, I'll come back and glue that. Let's see. How do I? How do I find it? Uh, I need a. So that'll be red flowers. Uh, where's my gorilla glue? I think it's somewhere in my car. Uh, hopefully, hopefully those people right there will, and I'll use their car as a, as a thing. Um, so this crazy broad, right? And if you go look at her, just go Google, uh, go Google Mountain Dew Killer Florida. So she's like, she's nuts, right? She basically, she was renting a room in this house and she killed her roommate stabbing that this old man in the 70s so they eventually catch her and they arrested her and as they, as they were talking to her she has like the blood from the murder on her pant leg so she asked them for something to drink they give her a, a, a mountain dew and she takes it and she starts pouring the mountain dew all over herself because she's trying to wash off the blood so i said uh when i seen this i said i gotta do this i gotta do this story it's crazy and i did it because number one uh, dude, this chick, in a weird way, she's hot. She's she's just a hot-looking, crazy killer woman. Like, go look at her. She, like, to me, she's hot. Like, I ain't gonna lie. She's she's hot. Now, now, listen, guys. On fascinating graveyard, we we have a um, we have a um. I judge women's looks on differently, whether you're beautiful, hot, uh attractive, cute, that's all different looks, right? Hot, I'm, when I say a woman is hot, I'm just saying like hot is different than beautiful. Like hot is just, it's a, it's a look, it's an attitude. And she's definitely hot, but she's nuts. Like you can tell like this woman is like, yeah, she has mental problems for sure. So I'm curious if that video gets a lot of views just because of the title and how she looks. So we'll 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 see. I don't know. Whatever. Uh she business in Wisconsin? Of course. It's too cold for me to go up there now. Uh I was supposed to do that story this summer. Yeah, she's a she's a real nutcase. Um I don't know if she's hot. Uh, she might be. I have I don't recall seeing pictures of her outside of her um jail uniform, if you will. Her jail uniform but uh yeah definitely gonna be doing that story you know there's a lot of stories i just you know i can't race to all of them you know to do them you know because it's the way i do it. like I, I i prefer to move slower than to just uh just you know be flying around and just doing whatever story uh because then you miss everything you know what i mean let's see if i let's see if i have my uh gorilla glue uh, my Gorilla Glue should be, yep, right there, right there, and uh, grab my, all right, let's go, let's go fix that, fix that picture real quick. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I was going to totally do a Faces in Death today, but I just, it's just too cold. I know, but, uh, whatever. She's not good looking at all. Here, you know what? Hang on. Let me let me go get my phone, and one of them should be charged now. 
been long enough. Let me let me look. Because you know, women get really jealous. You know, they'll say like, "Oh, she's not hot. Why do you think she?" You know, women can be very, very jelly, very jelly. Jelly does jelly is better on an English muffin, not on a woman. Okay, let me get my other phone. One hundred percent charged. All right. All right. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me be the judge on uh, whether she is uh, hot or not. Because I'll. T you know. You know, guys. You know me. I tell the truth. I will not BS you. All right. Let's see. My hands are so cold. I can barely type. All right. Let's see. You know what I wish I could do during live streams? You know what would be so cool if YouTube did this? I don't know if um, StreamYards can do this. I wish I was able to put up pictures on the screen while I'm live streaming. Now, I know you can live stream your screen, but I'm talking about like me just throwing up a picture while I'm live streaming. That would be awesome. Like that would make my streams really cool if I were able to do that, but I don't want to do a screen a screen uh, cast stream. I just, those are, I don't know, it's not my thing. All right, let's see. What's her name? Taylor Ship Business? Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to see her. Okay, well, she's, okay, so I will say she's not ugly, but she definitely looks odd. She definitely has an odd look to her. Yeah, you know, she's not hot, but, um, no, she definitely has a unique look. Um, I wouldn't call her hot, but, no, she's not nearly as hot as the woman in Florida. But, that, I guess she's average looking. She ain't ugly. She she looks very unique. She has a unique profile, but nothing to brag about. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing to brag about. But however, here's the thing: when somebody like that, check this out. This is how guys think, women. And women. I know this isn't the real channel for this kind of discussion, but I'll tell you since we're talking about it. So she's a perfect example of a woman that could be a six or an eight. It just depends on what kind of body she has. If she has like a really nice body, she works out. Yeah, she'll be hotter than she looks because of that, you know. And I'm sure women think the same about a guy. But uh, yeah, no, she's nothing to brag about. But you know, she's uh, you know, she definitely she definitely has a unique look, and she committed uh, a very heinous crime, which kind of you know, whatever. So. See, that's a that's a good story. That's a good example of a story that, you know, maybe I should have fl flew up there to like, but I, I just don't want to start doing that. I don't want to start flying to these, to these, you know, because you never know if a story is going to blow up. It's like if a story blows up, right, it's like getting like a bunch of nationwide news. Like, should I fly out there? Like, I don't want to start doing that. You know, I don't listen. Here's the thing with me and that I don't want to start turning my channel into like Mr. Paparazzi. Where like if somebody dies and I'm like, let's go, let's go to her grave. Like, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm on the fence about uh people doing graves of people that died super soon. I don't know. I'm not personally into it. I'm not against it. It's just not for me. It's not my time, it's not my thing. It's not a thing that I do. But I don't know. Here's the thing though. If I now here. If something happened in Springfield, right, and, you know, uh, would I do the video if the grave barely got dug? Probably, but I'm not going to go chasing after it. So, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. But, um, you know, <laughs> turbo, turbo herpes. <laughs> I didn't know there was uh, new strains of turbo herpes. Turbo and, and uh, what is it? what there'll be turbo and uh, maximum and uh, insulin resistant. 
Oh, okay, where was that? Where was that grave at? Now I gotta find it because I didn't. I, I see. I I, I kind of. I remember there was a red. Oh boy, how am I gonna find it? I remember there was yellow flowers. Oh boy. Oh, I think it was over there. Oh. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, where was it, where was it, where was it? Oh boy, where was, well no, it wasn't this far up. I remember there was some red and then yellow, I remember yellow. Okay, so I gotta just. But yeah, so I don't know, like, I'm not sure I wanna turn my channel into like, if there's like a really crazy, like, I'm like, all right, let's go fly up there and go do the story. I don't know. I'm on the fence about that. I don't like doing stuff like that. I'd rather just, I'd rather do, you know, I'd rather just kind of mix up my videos where I do, you know, I do just different videos. I do like, you know, some old stuff, some new stuff, some weird stuff, some urban stuff, some like whatever stuff. You know what I mean? Like I like a, like a mixture of what have you. Okay. I'm lost. I'm completely lost. I don't know where the grave was. I, you know what? I got to start buying and start carrying with me little flags to mark stuff like this. I keep forgetting to buy them. Like just little flags you just stick in the ground and so you, you know where you're at, where you're at. Okay. So that car left, that was my marker was the car. And it was by a tree that looked like this, but they all look like this. Oh boy. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Oh, crap. Yeah, I want to get going now. My hands are getting cold. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? I know th those aren't the same people, are they? I don't think that it is. Okay. Where was it? Oh, boy. I know it was right by a tree. And then I remember yellow flowers. Hoo, hoo, hoo. It's like it disappeared. Was it over there? I know, I don't remember it being this far up. Um, wow, what the heck happened? I just, okay, so I know I wasn't this far up. Uh, huh, okay, well, let me, let me make sure I just scan. I'm just looking for a picture on a grave. That's where it was. I, I don't think I was over here. But I was over here. Or was I over there? I, was I over there? Maybe I was. Or was I over here? I don't know. I don't think I was this far in. All the leaves are gone. All the leaves are gone, the leaves are gone. That's not the words of the song, dude. Okay. <sighs> when they started to pray, California, California dreaming. Well, I guess I didn't find it. I don't know. What the heck happened? Well, if I don't find it now, I'll come back tomorrow.
because uh, I definitely have to stop by tomorrow uh, just to uh, take a couple pictures. Oh boy. Oh, there it is. Now I should, I should get my scraper and, and, and scrape the like, cause there's not much adhesive right here, but I don't think that's really gonna matter. And, and it's so weak, I could scratch it off with my fingernail. But if you wanted to properly do it, you would just, but it's coming off with my fingernail. And I don't wanna scratch it. So. Okay, so it looked good right there. So, right there. So. All right, where's my? I'm pretty sure there's another, another adhesive that's better to use, but I, I'm sure Gorilla Glue will. I'm sure it'll last for at least five years. Okay, so it's. It's really cold right now. It's going to take the glue a little bit of time to. I think I'm out. It's so my my hands are so cold. I can't even screw. screw ah, come on, dude. You know what? I think nothing's coming out. I think I need a um I need to do this tomorrow. Oh, you know what? It might be closed up. Yeah. I'll I'll do this tomorrow. I'll come back for it. Yeah, I got to I got to take like a little thing and just uh poke a hole through it because it's kind of dried up on the inside it's caked in so we'll come back and fix it tomorrow and i'll come back and fill up that bird feeder and this gimbal is about to die right now so guys i am out of here i'm hitting the road i'm gonna go hide tonight somewhere and look through some of my videos maybe edit a video while i'm freezing in my vehicle so i will catch up with you on the next live peace out